Hello guys, this is Mike from Nitro Speed. Hope everyone's doing well on this Sunday. We're starting off with a Chevrolet Suburban. From Auto World. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. And uh, it's a great casting. I love these old vehicles from the 60s. One of the original Suburbans. I like this one better than the red. I like the lighter colors, not such dark on this. Didn't look right with the red or burgundy. All right, guys, next side, next one. Okay. Next one's a 72 Chevrolet K10 truck, 4x4. And this absolute gorgeous truck. I love the colors, the light blue and the white. Such a beautiful casting. Tires on there, the uh, always mess up on the tires for some reason, but it was, still looks great. Really glad to have it in my collection. Whew. Thought I'd be to bed early tonight. I have to be up at 5:30. Go have my chemo dine about quarter to eight. I'm gonna be there till about three thirty or five. Yeah, I'm gonna be there all day. So I got the TV. I'm gonna have food, relax. Get two pints of blood. Get the saline, the saline in my uh, in my port to clean all the junk out, and then I will get my chemo. And when that's done, I'll be able to come home. So. Got a lot of packages coming in this week for me. So guys, let's go to the next one. Guys, if you can help me on this next one. Alright. I forgot what this next one is. It's an Oldsmobile, not really sure, but this is a barn find. Absolutely love this. Great looking casting. Looking at a car that's really beautiful, but a lot of people have their cars like this. You know, they find them in the barns. This is such a great looking casting. Absolutely love this. All right, guys, passenger side. Next one. Get to that next one, guys. Sixty six Chevy Nova. I like this purple one, I have a blue one just like it. Really cool looking, but I love this purple Nova. My favorite year is the sixty four. I like the box style. That's just absolutely gorgeous casting. Absolutely love these Chevy Novas. Really cool looking with the purple and the blue uh, graphics on the side, or tampork, as we all say. 
I'm going to show you guys something at the end of the video. I did a lot of cleaning up in here. I rearranged everything on this table. I do my uh, taping on. I had a lot of things I had to change around. So I just didn't have any room. So I'm looking to get another case. All right, guys. Next side, next one. Just over five and a half minutes. We've got about 12 cars, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Smash the thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite at the end of the video. And please subscribe. All right, guys. Next one's a king. is a Hemi Cuda. I got a lot of compliments on this one. This one's gorgeous. I love this color. Really a gorgeous casting. And then I have another one just like it. And it's like a burnt orange. And it says Crazy Cuda. Let's get this back a little bit, guys. There we go. But this is really a gorgeous casting. I have a new challenge coming up, which I'm probably going to do on Tuesday after my wife's birthday. It's Jimmy's birthday on Tuesday. She's two years away from 50. The big 5-0, so she'll be 48 on Tuesday. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Gonna be a 65 Ford Mustang GT. This one's gorgeous. I love this casting. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see what this uh, stuff really does. It makes everything shine so well. Doesn't damage the paint or the graphics. I had to take one of my piece of junk cars just to test it and haven't had any problems since, so really looks good. It makes these cars really stand out. Like Chevron finish, that's for sure. It's a great looking Mustang. As you guys know, I love my fast bank Mustang. Spare years is 65 to about a 67. All right, guys, next side, next one. Next one. Next one is a 68 Mercury Cougar. This one is gorgeous. I love these Mercury Cougars. I absolutely love them. It's one of my favorite cars I've ever. I had a 71 with a 351 Cleveland. Thing is very fast. Sure missed that car. Wish I still had it today, but boy, that thing was really fast. It was jet black. It's actually a 71 Mercury Cougar XR7 with 351 Cleveland, and it came with either uh, 351 Cleveland or the Windsor, which is the uh, while we're in model of uh, engines for that car. As you know, Mercury is part of Ford. So guys, let's go into the next one. I think you guys are gonna really like this next one. They got some goodies coming up, guys. Next one. It's the Richard Petty car and it's a Plymouth. I just can never figure out what it is. If it's a Belvedere or an early model Roadrunner, but it's just so grateful to have this one in my collection. Love the old the old Richard Petty style cars. This is just a classic. As you guys know, I have quite a few NASCARs and NASCAR trucks. The king of NASCAR, that is for sure. All right, 
right, guys, driver's side, next one. We have four left. All right, guys, next one. Next one's... This one is the Dodge Charger Challenger. I can't remember. Charger. It's a Dodge Charger. This one's really cool. I love the color. This, this thing is just so beautiful. Now this is the country style Dodge Chargers. Really a great looking model. Love these Dodge Chargers. And I have quite a few in my collection. I probably have about 25 to 30. But I always like bringing the best ones out. Sometimes I'll bring out the older models, which are just regular main lines, but they're still good too. All right, guys, next one. Uh, I mean, the next side will go to the next one. I have a really cool collection of the last three here. I think you're gonna like. And this is totally old school, and this is the way we used to drive the cars back in the day. Alright, guys. The 69, yeah, 69 Plymouth Roadrunner. And back in the day, this is how we used to... How we used to drive them. Jacked up in the back, lowered in the front. Boy, it brings back a lot of great memories. That's how my 71 Cougar was, same way, just a little bit lower. I just absolutely love this Plymouth Roadrunner. It's one of my favorite uh, Roadrunners in my collection, one of them. Absolutely gorgeous casting. Hey guys, driver's side, we'll go to the next one. We have two left. Absolutely love it. Great, great casting. Okay, let's go to the next one. And this is a Johnny Lightning. guys and here we go with the 1970 Chevelle SS this one is gorgeous too I love this sort of like a copper or root beer color it's absolutely gorgeous casting one left and I tell you, you guys are gonna like this next one I always save the best for last As you guys know, Chevelle's are my favorite cars. Whew, 69 and the 70. Hey guys, driver's side, we'll go to the next one. Alright guys, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Hey guys, next one. 1970 as well. It's got the Spectra uh, flame. It's like a candy apple red maybe, or a cherry red. Beautiful casting, absolutely gorgeous. Glad I have this on my collection. Like I said, as you guys know, I love my Chevelles. I uh, quite a few in my collection. I'm going to bring out some more uh, tomorrow. Uh, quite a few. I got about 25 or 30 in my collection. My favorite car of all time. I wish I had one. Well, like they say, be careful what you wish for. Yeah, I would, I would love to have one. So, guys, 
that's gonna do it for the video. Before I show you what I've done, please smash that thumbs up, comment down below, let me know which one was your favorite, and please subscribe, guys. Hope your day was good, guys. You take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Okay, guys, let me show you what I've done. Kind of change things around. Right here, a little bit. There's my gas station. There's my little parking lot. I don't know where I'm putting that one yet, but done a lot of stuff here. Don't, still a lot of dust to clean up. As you can see, there's the matchbox truck right there. Here, guys. Whoa, right there. From 1972. Glad it's in my collection. My oldest, or I have in my collection. So guys, that's what I've done. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is Mike from Nitro Speed. I'm out of here. See ya.